Hi, uh, I'm Guido Nunez Mujica and this is Future Foods. We just had a, an amazing dinner that it seems didn't got fully recorded and we missed the dessert, but since the dessert was so special, I'm gonna have second servings. Mm. This is a good. Mm. This is the perfect day ice cream. And uh, this is a genetically engineered product that's made with a real dairy protein that comes from no cow. It comes from a uh, cult culture fungi that have been engineered to produce the dairy proteins. And this doesn't taste exactly like ice cream. The texture is slightly different. And better. This is actually kind of like a, in between a soft serve and traditional ice cream and it's really really good. It, I would say it's creamier, it's more has a smoother velvety texture than traditional ice cream. Sometimes traditional ice cream is a little bit hard but this is just creamy perfection. It's extremely good. And as far as I know, this, this might have been the first documented completely GMO dinner because as a as appetizer, we had a elote-ish <laughs> style corn, which was a sweet corn that is resistant to insects. It produces its own insecticide that's completely harmless for, for us humans. I have actually eaten the isolated protein, the BT protein, and it tastes like cumin. We had that for uh, appetizer. Uh, uh, for our main dish, we had the Impossible Whoppers. And for dessert, we had this uh, amazing treat. Mm -hmm. So good. So, so good. This is the uh, vanilla salt fudge, and it's really good. My congratulations to the perfect day guys, to, to the people. Uh, you have an amazing product and uh, I really hope you're successful and you start changing the landscape that we can have ice cream without having any cruelty to animals, any animal exploitation. And uh, hopefully you'll start ramping up the production of this because this is not just an alternative product, in my opinion. This is a great product by itself, period. It's not just an alternative to traditional ice cream. It's something that can compete with traditional ice cream. And, uh, well, the, the meal was really good. Uh, I wouldn't say it was particularly healthy, but it wasn't particularly unhealthy either. It's probably not something that you usually eat every day, considering that it's a fast food burger, but as an occasional treat, it was perfectly fine. And uh, my husband is being my cameraman now. So what do you think about the whole meal and about the dessert specifically? The dessert Stop. was good. <laughs> uh, what do you think about the whole meal? It was good. This is a better round of Impossible Burgers than the first, the first one. That we yeah, we tried a one uh, version in twenty sixteen, and it wasn't. That was good. The flavor it, was great, but the texture was slightly off. You could tell it wasn't meat. If you stop paying attention, it was very close. But this one is, com according to me, is completely indistinguishable. Of course, this is a fast food patty, and it's not like super high quality meat. If it will be actual beef, but I really couldn't tell the difference. And you know, something that was curious, one of the fellows of uh, Cornell Alliance for Science of this year was here, Ahmed, and he's from Egypt. And he told us that since he cannot find out whether the meat that they're serving in many places is halal or not, he's Muslim, he just eats vegetarian, but that with the Impossible Burger, he has no concerns because it's no meat, so he can eat it. So I hadn't thought about that. I'm in a situation where people that have dietary restrictions for uh, 
religious reasons, motives. Uh, now they are also part of the possible target market for the Impossible Burger. I hadn't thought about that, and that was a, a really interesting conversation. As I said, I most likely lost the video, and since the file is corrupt or something, so I'm trying to rehash the conversation that, that we had. And uh, yeah, Jason, uh, Jason Mercliff, also a Cornell Alliance for Science fellow, had a dairy ice cream for the first time in 21 years, I think he said. And he, he was very happy. I'll probably interview him again um, tomorrow or Friday. They're still around for a few days. But in general, I'm very happy about tonight and about this meal. And I probably will try to have something similar again with different group of people. But I'm very excited about this because I think that right now I'm really eating the future. A future that's delicious, less cruelty, and way more sustainable than our current agricultural practices. Might be a future that freaks out people, but uh, we need to become more sustainable if we're going to survive as a species. And uh, the current subject, the, the trend is to pay a lot of attention to Greta Thunberg when she's told us to listen to the scientists. And this is a product of science. Listen to the scientists and start thinking about eating this delicious ice cream that was produced by fungi, not by cows. Thank you.